Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I've got one for you from today. Um, I had a customer ring me early this afternoon in regards to booking in for some weekend work. Uh, this customer in particular wanted to book in for a Sunday. There was a time in my life when I did offer Sundays because I was a fucking idiot. And this particular customer would always grab those Sundays. Um, anyway, when he'd asked to book it in, I said to him, look, I'm not offering Sundays anymore. Monday to Saturday, Monday to Friday, and hopefully in the near future, I'll be able to offer some Saturdays. Anyway, his reply to that was, oh, who, who will service my car on a Sunday then? And it was at about that moment that I wanted to reach through the phone and grab him by his nose, pull him through and just punch his head in. But I did refrain from saying anything bad or anything like that. Kept my composure and said to him, look, mate, well, I'd be more than happy for you to take it and book it in with someone else if you can find someone to help you on a Sunday. Um, but anyway, the whole point of me explaining this is the whole customer is right mentality or the customer is always right mentality is fucking bullshit. That's what's fucking the planet up. That's what's fucking so many industries up at the moment is this self-entitled belief that the fucking customer is always right. Like... I implore people in business to stop serving these people at all. Maybe it'll get to the point where the dude's like, oh, the, the Sparky won't come and fix my PowerPoints, the, the plumber won't come and fix my taps. Maybe they'll start to work out that they are the fucking common denominator in this whole fucking issue. And they'll be like, maybe they'll change their whole thinking. Well, maybe I need to be a little bit more polite and courteous. Like, it's not that fucking hard, people. Like... Would you fucking go into work on a Sunday? Like, what a fucking idiot. So, the next thing is, uh, what happens if this gets back to him? Well, I honestly don't give a fuck. Hopefully it does get back to him. One, he'll either fucking learn to be fucking courteous and stop being a self-entitled piece of shit. Or two, he'll pack up and fuck off and never come back to me ever again. Hopefully he takes every fucking customer like him with him and they can fuck off over there and I can be happy and just not deal with that shit. So, it's not that hard to be polite, people. You're dealing with people in sales and retail. At the end of the day, they're providing you a service. So, it makes the whole transaction a lot smoother when everyone is willing to work with everyone. Um... But yeah, aside from that, it's just a small amount of people that it's like bashing your fucking head against the wall made of spikes on fire. So yeah, just know if you're dealing with this shit too, you're not the only one. There's plenty of us out there that are dealing with these sort of customers, people, I guess you could call them. Um, yeah, it's just, it's not, it's easy to be polite and courteous. Um, also, a shout out to all the really fucking good customers I've got. You know who you are. Um, like, I, like I've told you, to the people that have already come to me at the new shed, a lot of people didn't get the memo. A lot of people won't be getting the fucking memo. <laughs> but anyway, um, I feel so much better getting that shit off my chest. Uh, hopefully, some people will be able to pick some shit up out of this message. Um, yeah. Like I said, I feel fucking great now. I might go and have a beer. Um, anyway, just remember it's always a fucking good day to be alive. Stay positive. Stay fucking beautiful. Yeah, even though you're dealing with this shit, it's still a fucking good day to be alive. Just go and talk to someone about it.